Good evening, audience. Last time we did a bunch of stuff, and this time we're going to do a bunch more stuff. So let's get started. Everyone's doing what they do. This guy's making glass, I guess. Which would be in... Not that. Not that. Not that. It's out here. No, it's not. I... There it is. <clears throat> And then we're having them place the glass somewhere. Do we have it where? Is it over here? It is, okay. And in the meantime, they're still harvesting milk and food and such things. Good God. Are they still killing stuff? Alright, slow down on the killing. We're going to slow down. Okay, they've only got eight more than... I might harvest some bones. And then uh, get someone some bone armor. Because it's about time to be going into the next layer of the dungeon. Everybody sleeping like lazy do we have any bones? No, we got plenty of stone. And glass. We've got some spiderite. So let's see what we can make. In the meantime, oh, hello. Need to get someone over there to kill that guy. In the meantime, we will make the couple things that we don't have, which are a tavern. We'll get an arena put up. Actually, can we even do an arena? I don't think we have any badgers, let alone any sand or uh, grass to put it on, unless we go way over here. Nope, I don't think we can. I don't think we have badgers in this area. Well, that sucks, but uh, we will still do a tavern, though, and a barracks. We'll do the tavern way over here. But I wanted to put a house up here for someone. And it's about time to start getting some more people in here as well. So we we actually have a lot to focus on. But the priority is going to be basically expansion. So we will also probably get another Unifarlo area just to expand this out a little bit. <clears throat> But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this road and bring it out this way. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's been a while, so. Oh, actually, we're going to straight up replace that road with this one as well. Because, see, that looks like garbage. It just looks awful. So we're going to delete some of these. And instead, we will put, oops, not that. We will put paved roads down, which aren't bad. They just take uh, one extra stone. So they take two stone instead of just one. And I mean, we've obviously got plenty of stone now that we've gotten down there into that dungeon. So it's not a problem at all. Everyone's running around like chickens with their head cut off. And these also will combine together and look much nicer when they uh, combine together like that. <clears throat> I wish I could turn my camera. I don't want to destroy the stone wall. I guess I'll have to put it right there. All 
right now see I will go ahead and put this here and then we can see what that looks like and <clears throat> I've seen I've seen it before and I think it looks okay but feel free to tell me if you guys don't like it in the meantime we will have them go over here cut out this road and we'll cut out and right now they're gonna be grabbing all the stone from here so they're gonna have to go down and get more but we've got plenty down here so actually we are uh where is it all uh, a lot of it's over here might have mine out another area just in case <clears throat> down a lower um still a bunch of okay so yeah we'll just have them mine out some more area where are we let's see mine then we don't want to grab too much coal with this we're just trying to get stone so it's all right if we get the flint but we don't really want the coal to be in the way because we've already got that mine on the coal and if we mine it out from under it, <clears throat> we'll lose that. So, we don't want to mess with that much. And that is not what I want. That is what I want. Silly auto saves, freezing my game. And uh, before we start to expand too much, we will also think about putting some. Uh, <clears throat> little happiness items around the town so people will be happier and all that is is decorations but people being happier I can add personal rooms and people will just migrate a lot faster first of all and second of all I didn't want bones in there I want bones up here. Okay. They're holding bones. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. People will start migrating a lot faster and we'll get an army faster. Now see, I put all these together and it's just one solid block. And it looks just a lot better. At least I think so. Now we're going to... Bring this out this way, and we'll finish this here, bring it, we'll cancel that, because that's not where we wanted that, <clears throat> go ahead and cancel this one too, so we get an area up there, and like I said, we will expand this out, but first we need to get all this stuff dealt with. We'll probably go ahead and delete this snake tooth for now because, first of all, it's really easy to get them. And, <clears throat> wait, a boat? I got a boat? Huh. A boat caravan. That's a new one. I have yet to see one of those. Ha <laughs> ha, he's a boat on wheels. That's pretty funny. I wonder what he sells. Let's find out. Let's see. Wooden stuff. Snake tooth stuff. Wooden armor. Chairs. Tables. <clears throat> so nothing we don't already have. I can go ahead and sell some stuff to him, though. And that'll get rid of whatever's in here that we don't need, and we can always make more even if we do need it, so, some stone stuff, I forgot I had that, <clears throat> we're gonna have to go <clears throat> get some more stone, because this, these pavements are gonna take a lot of stone, but also you gotta remember that, um, we have a pretty infinite supply of stone down there now. Until we just mine out the entire layer. And then all we have to do is go down. <clears throat> which won't be that bad. But anyway, in the meantime. 
And that went fast. In the meantime, we are going to do some decorative stuff and decorate some of these people's rooms. What is that supposed to be? Treasure list. I wonder if you can put anything in that. Uh, we've got candles, harps, bird cages. We don't. We can't do bird cages because they require gold, and I haven't found any of that yet. But what we will usually try to do is stuff like we can put a chess table in there, or a plant, or what I personally like to do is go over here and put a statue in here. And we can't, oh well, we could do that one too. And uh, that will represent everyone who died trying to make this town. Uh, we could do that, but it takes iron. So I'm not really sure if I want to do that or not. Just like that, that flag takes iron as well. These bushes, we could probably put some bushes around. That wouldn't hurt any. But uh, all of this is a little bit trivial because all it is is decoration. So we'll just do the simple stuff like statues or we can make some wooden signs. Put one right there. Um, we'll put... Oh man, everything is lagging. Alright, calm down, Spaz. There we go. Okay. Uh, decorations aren't necessarily a bad thing, but when I don't have a lot of room, then it can uh, go bad pretty fast. Because these rooms are pretty small. And at some point, we might expand some of these out, but there's really no reason to. Let's see. That's really all the decoration that's in there. Most of it's going to be indoor stuff, like this. Uh, that takes iron. That takes a bunch of wood, so let's do a couple of those. That takes wood and stone. Now let's put a couple chest tables in here. And that should make everyone a little bit happier. And uh, we will also put a candle light in there in some of these guys' rooms. Uh, not hers, I guess, because she's already got weapon chests. And she's got food all over her room. <clears throat> And then everyone's room will be a little bit decorated. It'll be kind of nice. Where did I? I did not mean to click that. Bait. I've never done bait. What does bait do? Let's put a bait out here and see what it does. Oh wow, another military. Or another merchant. I mean. A military merchant, but another merchant nonetheless. Um, as you can see, we've got plenty of cactus fruit everywhere. I think I'm going to switch priorities for a second and have them just haul stuff and get it out of the way. Just because it's starting to bug me. <clears throat> and then we'll find out what bait does, because I'm not really sure. We will also have them... Come over here, mine out that little area of stone. Let's see, this is a one, two, three by three. Well, hello there. <clears throat> and we're going to make our Unifarlo area quite large because we don't want anyone to ever run out of food. And they still aren't hauling much stone. All right, let's look at what this caravan has. I need to pause it. So, before we do that, we will just pause the game, if I can do that, but you can't do in this menu. Okay, we'll pause it, and then uh, start up next episode, just uh, looking at what this guy has, continue building some stuff, maybe uh, get this Unifarlo farm 
pushed over and uh, try to maybe get this area out and put a living residential area over there. We'll also try to maybe put this guy up here, but I mean, that's a lot in a 15 minute episode, so we'll, we'll just have to see where we get. And that's been another episode of Towns. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment what I'm doing wrong, what I can do better, all that good stuff. And uh, stay tuned for next episode. Thanks for watching.